Lisa, I am the ukulele fool, foolishly believing that you need some three-quarter time strumming in your repertoire. This video has timestamps for all the teaching sections because I really hope to help you on your ukulele journey. And if I do, please be so kind and give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to this channel, and hit the notification bell because it spreads the ukulele love. On to the tutorial. The biggest challenge with this song is it's got a rather rapid three-quarter time strum. I'll show you how it's done. I'm going to do it on a C chord. You go down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up. In order to get it fast, though, you have to make sure that you're being very light. It's okay if you put a little bit more on that first down, and sometimes I will do it with a little thumb strum and a little delay as I go down so I can lovingly hit each string so it kind of sounds harp-like. But on those down-up, down-ups, you have to be very light and in order to keep it fast. So let's get your ukulele. Do it with me. We're just going to do it on a C. We'll do it eight times. Are you ready? One, two, three. Ready? Begin. Let's go over the chords. The most unusual chord is a C sus4. So you've got a C, and with your index finger, you put it on the first fret of the E string. And so, like that. Makes a really nice, pretty sound for the introduction. Kind of a little bit what John Denver did in his performances. I'm sure I don't need to talk about the C and the A minor. There's also an F and a G chord, and I finger mine with the two bunny foo-foo or peace sign fingers, and then flop this finger down here on the third fret of the E string. But there are other ways to do the G chord, and I will put a link up here, somewhere over here, to help you with your G chord if that feels awkward. There's a perfectly acceptable ways to do it differently. You also need E minor, index finger on the A string, 2nd fret, reaching over with your middle finger to the 3rd fret of the E string, and stretch with that ring finger to the C string, 4th fret. Make sure that your fingers are nice and arched so that each string rings out. You also need a D minor, index finger on the 1st fret of the E string, reaching over to the G string with your middle finger, and then tucking your ring finger in on the 2nd fret of the C string. To make the chord transition smooth, I recommend that you use this hack. We're going to put an A minor 7 in between some of these chords that are more challenging to negotiate in between. Like, for example, an F and a G. The last up strum becomes an A minor 7, which is no hands, or no fingers, and it gives us just a short little amount of time to reposition our hand. I'll do it slowly so you can see how it's going with the, the F to G transition. So it's F, down, up, down, A minor 7, G, down, down, like that. And there's so many of these chords in this song where you need these transitions. So I've got them marked here so you can see where I would recommend using this uh, little hack to, to make it more smooth and fluent. Let's practice this together. We're going to use this tool, a box diagram, and we're going to play one strum per box. So you notice we're changing chords every three beats. So we're going to do this nice and slowly, or as I often say, deliberately, and notice that there's only one chord that repeats, and it's the G7. See that there? Okay, we're going to keep it deliberately slow. One, two, three, ready, begin. Da da da. 
it's too fast or not fast enough, you can use a little uh, hack, and I've got that up here too, to change the speed on this, and you can make it 10% faster, 20% faster, or conversely slower. Let me quick show you the timing on the intro that I wrote for this. At the end of the intro, you have a single stroke on a C. One, two, three is when you sing U, and then Phil comes in on beat one. So one, two, you. Fill up my one, two, and three, and one, two, and three, and one. Like that. John Denver was such a wonderful singer and songwriter, and uh, this song was inspired basically from a really big, significant fight that he and his wife, Annie Martell, was my checking her name, yep, Martell had, and they had actually separated for a while. And they did get back together, and John Denver decided that he was filled with so much gratitude and love for nature, and he was going up a ski lift in Aspen, Colorado, where they kept their home, and the song just kind of hit him, and it took him about 10 minutes to write it. Isn't that cool? It's a very nice love song. Unfortunately, their marriage did not survive the demands of his career. John Denver's real name is, and I'm going to read it here, Henry John Duschendorf. Well, I can see why he changed it. That's more consonants than my last name. And he was known for those iconic granny classes that he wore and just kind of that, you know, that kind of country pop flavor that he had in his singing. He was an avid environmental activist, and he was also an avid aviator, which unfortunately led to his demise. I ran into John Denver. I was, I was either 18 or 19. I spent two summers going to the school of the Aspen School of Music for, as a flute player, and I was cutting through a gas station to go to my flute lesson at a studio and who should be in a Jeep getting gas, but John Denver is like, whoa. And I actually had quite a few celebrity sightings when I was there those two summers in Aspen. Very fun. All right, let's get on to the play along. These free YouTube videos are sponsored by my patrons. Thank you so much for your support. You make this possible. Couldn't do this without you. If you want great rewards and want to support this channel too, come join us on Patreon. One, two, three, two, two, three, three. Ready, begin. You fill up my senses Like a night in the forest Like a mountain in springtime Like a walk in the rain A storm in the desert, like a sleepy blue ocean. You fill up my senses, come fill me again. Come let me love you, let me give my life to you. Drown in your laughter. Let me die in your arms. Let me lay down beside you. Let me always be with you. Come, let me love you. Come, love me again. Let me love you, 
come love me again. You fill up my senses like a night in the forest, like a mountain in springtime, like a walk in the rain. Like a storm in the 